In this video, I'm going to show you how to start a newsletter on Gumroad. Now before we get started, I'm just going to brief you on what exact topics we'll be covering in this demonstration. So first off, we're going to create a product that's free of charge, which the customers can buy or check out without paying anything. And this will be the trigger for the email that will be sent to them where they can claim their free newsletter. Now from there, we're going to create a workflow that will allow us to send an email to the customer containing the free newsletter together with a bonus freebie. Now lastly, we're going to edit the checkout page of that free product we just created. And we're going to put a field where the customer will input their email so that they will receive the email containing the free newsletter and the bonus freebie. So let's get started. First off, you need to log into your Gumroad account and then head to the homepage. Now from here, we're just going to go ahead and click on products on the left side of the screen. And ideally, the newsletter or the free newsletter should be the first product that you're going to publish in your Gumroad account, especially if you're a, an aspiring or a new uh, Gumroad account or Gumroad store owner. But since we're just trying to show an example, in my case, I already have a bunch of products posted. So I don't have a newsletter yet, but nonetheless, I can show you how to get started on this. So to create your newsletter, we're just going to go ahead and click on new product right here. Now, as you can see for the products, we have the option to choose among digital product, course or tutorial, ebook, membership, physical good, or bundle. Now in Gumroad's previous interface, they had the option to manually select newsletter. Now, since newsletter isn't available in the options, we're just going to go ahead and select digital product. Now here, we're just going to name it free newsletter. And then for the price, we're just going to go with $0. So once that's done, we're going to go ahead and click on next customize. And then here, we're just going to edit the details of our free newsletter. Now for the description, you can add a bunch of info that will allow you to engage the customer into um, getting the newsletter and what they can expect, what the Gumroad store has to offer, uh, all of that good stuff. And then just uh, type it in in the description. So. Uh, in my case, I'm just going to shorten it to claim your free newsletter via email after checking out this free product. And then for the URL, we're just going to go with free newsletter. If you have a custom domain, you can add it over here. And I would also recommend to upload a cover photo and a thumbnail that fits the theme of your newsletter. So whatever that is, just make sure to upload it right here. You can use computer files or an external link. So according to Gumroad, they support media from sites such as YouTube, Vimeo, and SoundCloud. You can also make use of um, stock photos. Just make sure that you've either purchased stock photos or you're using it from a royalty-free website such as Unsplash. And then just upload it over here. Now the same goes for thumbnail. Now for thumbnail, just make sure that the size is at 600 by 600 pixels at least and that it's in the format of JPG, PNG, or GIF. Now for the product info, since 
this product is a free newsletter and we're not charging the customers for this. I'm just going to keep it to I want this. Usually I go for buy this, but since this isn't a product that we're selling for a price, then we're going to keep this. Now for summary, I'm just going to go with claim your free newsletter on your email. And then we can also add some integrations if we'd like. For example, if we're building a circle community or our Discord server, you can add it over here. Now for the pricing, we're going to keep it at $0 and we're going to turn this off right here. The allow customers to pay what they want. Since uh, our aim is to uh, uh, keep the customer or rather um, to give this cost to, to our customers for free. And actually it's not allowing me to turn it off. So uh, that doesn't really matter since um, they can just put in $0 on the value once they're on the checkout page and then they can just continue to check out and not pay for anything. Or if by any chance, maybe they'd like to, uh, I don't know, give a donation or something, then they can choose to do that. But anyway, uh, they can still claim it for free. So we're going to scroll down. We don't need versions for this and these settings won't apply for us. So we're good to go on this. We're just going to go ahead and click save and continue. Now for the content, we don't actually have a digital content to upload right here yet. So this can be just an image saying uh, something like, thank you for claiming your free newsletter. An email should be on its way containing the newsletter and a bonus freebie. And then maybe you can add a message like, make sure to subscribe to my Gumroad store to stay updated on the latest news and offers. Something like that. So once you have the content, we're just going to go ahead and click publish and continue. So the free newsletter on our product should be good to go. We can remove this uh, settings right here, which says display your products one to five star rating since it's just a uh, free newsletter. So we're going to go ahead and click save changes and that should be our product for the free newsletter. Now the next step would be to create a workflow for this newsletter. So we're going to go ahead and do that. So just click on workflows at the left side of the screen and then click on new workflow. Now here we're just going to make sure that the trigger is after a purchase and make sure that you don't click on this also send to past customers since our goal is to just uh, give a free newsletter to a customer on their first purchase, quote unquote, on that free newsletter. And of course, we don't want to be sending them the same thing over and over. So we're just going to name this workflow as free newsletter. And then under the field has bought, we're just going to go ahead and select the free newsletter product we just created a while ago. We don't need to fill these in. So this should be good to go. Now we're going to go ahead and click save and continue. So that will be our workflow for this free newsletter. Now here we're just going to create an email. So here I'm just going to choose zero hours after purchase. So this basically means that this should immediately trigger after the purchase. So for the subject, free newsletter and bonus freebie. And then here, 
maybe uh you can actually put in a long content here just uh, be strategic about it if you'd want to um you can introduce yourself you can include a bunch of info on what they can expect for they can expect from the newsletter but for this example we're just going to go with claim your free newsletter and bonus freebie by clicking on the link below something like that now we're just going to attach the file so in this case we have two files and they will be the newsletter and of course the bonus freebie that i'm talking about so in this case i'll upload a newsletter sample so this newsletter sample isn't basically tailored or isn't necessarily tailored to my gumroad store it's just a newsletter template for the sake of this demonstration and then i'm going to upload my bonus freebie which can be anything depending on what your gumroad store theme is so in my case i have an, an animal puzzle book pdf that they can um maybe play around with so once you've attached your files we can go ahead and click on save changes and then once the changes have been saved we're going to go ahead and click publish now just again make sure that also send to past customers is toggled off so we're going to go ahead and click publish now and for the last step we're going to go to the checkout option right here on the left side of the screen and then on the checkout form we're just going to go ahead and create a custom field so right here add a custom field and then i'm going to put an a text right here which says add your email address here to receive the free newsletter something like that and then for the products we're going to select the free newsletter so that this custom field will appear on the product page of the free newsletter so once that's done we're just going to go ahead and click save changes and then we're ready to check our product so we're gonna go ahead and do that right now so we're gonna go ahead and click on products and then we're gonna look for the link of the free newsletter so this is the free newsletter and i'm just gonna try to open this in a new incognito window real quick just give me a second so that i can show you how it'll be sent to our email so right here we've opened the product on an incognito window and then as you can see we have the description right here and this field is asking us to name a fair price so since we can just go ahead and type zero click on i want this and proceed to the checkout right here can just add our email address so actually I use this one so that will be our email address so that we can receive the newsletter so just click on get and then we're just gonna have to do this quick catch a test bridges right there now as you can see we've landed on the content page we was we were editing a while ago and the product uh product section of gumroad thank you for claiming your free newsletter an email should be on its way containing the newsletter and a bonus freebie make sure to subscribe to my gumroad store to stay updated on the latest news and offers so we're gonna go ahead and try to check if we have received the email so just give me a sec so here i've logged into 
the email I used for the newsletter. And as you can see, we got a free newsletter right here. So if we click on view content, then the email should arrive shortly. We're going to go back to our inbox, maybe give it a refresh. And as you can see, we have, we have a new email right here free newsletter and bonus freebie. Claim your free newsletter and bonus freebie by clicking on the link below. So if we click on the view content, there we go. We can download the newsletter sample and the animal puzzle book. So we're just gonna go ahead and check if these are functional. Right there. So this is the newsletter sample. We have it over here. And then we're going to check the animal puzzle book. Download that. And then we're just going to open this up. And as you can see, we have the animal puzzle book right here. So both of these are functional and they can just go ahead and download it after they've received the email. And that's about it. That's how we start a newsletter on Gumroad. If you have any questions, please let me know down in the comments below, and I'll do my best to help you out.